Good morning, students. Uh, let us begin the lesson explanation. Before that, uh, I would like to tell you some precautionary measures that one should take while kite flying. As kite flying involves the use of extremely sharp manja on the strings, there is a high chance that you may cut yourself. So, before attempting to fly a kite, always ask a friend to accompany you. Then you can wear gloves or bandage your fingers to avoid cuts. Then do not fly kite in crowded areas or on roads. Always fly kites on open ground. Do not use nylon manja. It may invite accidents and can also injure birds. So take care and have fun. The Kite Festival Years ago, the harassed mother would often say to her restless son, who needed to be kept busy during his holidays, why don't you go fly a kite? And the little boy would happily pick up his kite and run out into the field. So, uh, long, long ago when a harassed mother means troubled and stressed out. Mothers who were troubled and stressed out due to domestic chores would often tell their restless child that go and play outside rather than hindering in her work. So she would ask children to her child to go and play out and fly a kite. That of course was in the past when only uh, when the only kites available were made of kite paper and thin wooden frames. Uh, kite flying has has come a long way since then with the invention of motorized and even fiberglass kites to compete with the old-fashioned kites. So children, in the olden days, uh, kites were made from thin uh, kite paper and uh, thin wooden frames. Uh, but now, come a long way is a phrase, it means it progressed and developed. So now, kite flying has become, uh, it has developed. So, obviously, there are inventions in the uh, models of kites. So now we can see motorized and even fiberglass kites. So fiberglass is a maybe a substance from which nowadays uh, modern kites are prepared. And these compete with the old fashioned means the old fashioned kites also exist today and these new ones uh, are also available. So today kite flyers can be found in different parts of the world carrying different types of kites waiting for the right winds. Children uh, for uh, playing kites, uh, what you call uh, the kite play players need a favorable wind. Uh, that is the reason uh, that this festival uh, is celebrated in uh, means the kite flying festival is celebrated in January because uh, the winds are favorable in this month. Okay. Kite flying has a long history. There are many Greek, Indian, and other mythological stories which tell us about human beings wanting to or trying to fly. So, kite flying is quite old. Uh, it is found in Greek and Indian uh, mythological stories which tell us about human beings wanting to or trying to fly. So, children, uh, you may come across characters in such mythological stories in which there were characters who could fly. So, flying is associated with humans since 
very very old okay so over a period of time this desire of humans and the imagination probably led to the invention of kites so humans always had the desire to f- uh, fly and that desire helped to invent kites and it is likely that the box kites designed more than 100 years ago later inspired others to create power driven aeroplanes so children may be that the fl- invention of kites may have uh, inspired uh, people to create power di- driven aeroplanes because we always had a desire to fly and we as humans are not gifted with wings to fly but still a uh, man could invent kites to fly and man could also invent later aeroplanes uh, in which man could fly in the air okay uh in india however the tradition of kite flying has not changed be it during the coming of spring which is celebrated as basant or during the festival of makar sankranti people of all ages go out into the open to try their luck with their kites so india the tradition of uh, kite flying still exists and uh be it during the coming of spring which is celebrated as basant or during the festival of makar sankranti so uh, this the festival of makar sankranti or the welcoming of spring during this time people fly kites and people of all ages go out into the open to try their luck with their kites I mean, it is not limited to only young children uh, all people young and old uh, enjoy kite flying in towns and cities where open spaces are difficult to find terraces and rooftops are often used often used for this traditional sport now children in towns and cities uh, there is hardly any open space found um uh, so people use terraces and rooftops to fly kite in gujarat makar sankranti is kite flying day traditionally celebrated on january 13 or 14 it is a holiday when people meet outdoors to cut each other's kites this day also coincides with the festival of uttarayan coincide means occurs on the same time so uttarayan and makar sankranti are celebrated on the same dates when the sun is set to begin its journey to the northern hemisphere um uh, uh children uh, you must have uh, come across this phenomena in you must have learned this phenomena uh, in jo- in your geography lessons wherein uh, sun starts its journey to into the northern hemisphere so makar sankranti and uttarayan Uh, are celebrated to mark the journey of sun in the northern hemisphere and the people of gujarat celebrate uttarayan with a lot of enthusiasm and all business comes to a grinding halt grinding halt means to a stand still for a couple of days couple means one or two days it is also a celebration to mark the end of winter uh children uh, people celebrate this with great enthusiasm and for one or two days that is on maybe on 13th and 14th uh all businesses are stopped 
and people enjoy uh, kite flying uh, to mark the end of winter and uh, to welcome the spring okay